Hey y'all, um, I'm here in Fromm Farm. Just a little bit of the farm. I'm sure you'll hear crowing and dogs barking and all the things uh, during this video. But I wanted to do a quick video on harvesting um, dill seeds and cilantro. Um, I'm trying to get better with saving seeds so I can use the next year um, and years beyond. And so um, I let my cilantro and my dill go to seed this year. And I just kind of wanted to show you what the seeds look like because um, I had no idea where the seeds come from. The ground, the sky, the stalk, the flower, I don't know. Um, so I wanted to show you that real quick um, so you can save your seeds for the next year. Because um, who knows what next year will bring, right? <laughs> I'm saying. Okay, so I'm to try to pop you up here. Take my little chicken soot feeder. Isn't it cute? Okay. So, um, let's see. So, first I have my dill. And the dill, um, when you let it go to seed, pretty much you're letting it flower. Um, and when you, when you let it flower, ooh, pretty right. Um, you're going to get all these, and look at this. All these are little seeds. A lot of the famous people do that so it focuses, right? Something like this. But, I mean, just in one flower, or I have 20, 20 seeds, just like in this little thing here. That you can't see. But anywho, usually you keep them on the plant till they're pretty dry. Um, like these are real dry. Um, but I picked some that are more green too, but, uh, I'm going to store them in a, just a paper bag from the grocery store. Um, I got a, probably a thousand seeds, um, off a couple of dill plants. Um, but I'm just going to put them all in here, let them dry up. I labeled it so I know what it is. Dill. Okay. Um, and then you want to store it in a cool, dry place so it, um, so it dries real nice and then... Once it's pretty dry, all the way dry, you can pick the little seeds off and put them in a smaller um, paper envelope. Paper just helps absorb any moisture so nothing molds and it stays good till the next season. Um, so, yeah, piece of cake, right? You can see the little seeds on there. And then I have my cilantro. Like the seeds are called coriander. Right? You can eat or use coriander seeds but I rather keep it and then use it for more cilantro the next year um, yeah this looks like a hot mess but um, these are more located in the middle they're not on they're not the flower but they kind of grow in the middle of the plant once it starts drying you'll see these little you know they're like little balls um, and they'll become more dry like I know some of these are more brown. They're kind of drying a little bit more. Um, but yeah, you do the, you know, the same thing. You collect as many, you know, pieces as you want. Once again, I mean, just in this little bit, I probably have, excuse me, um, like 50 seeds. And in this bag, I don't know, 1,000 seeds. All day. And um, so, yeah, plenty to keep for yourself for the next year and share um, if you're on a homestead trying to make money you could sell them I mean whatever um so I'm also just going to keep these in you know my paper bag okay um and keep them in um under my stairs I have a little cellar I'm starting um where I'm keeping all my canned goods and trying to keep all my seeds and have everything organized which is hard for me <laughs> so that's that. If you have any questions, you can ask. Um, I plan on showing how I, you know, save some other seeds. I'm going to do my best to uh, save as many as I can this year, lower costs, and, um, you know, just keep thinking about the next year. Preparation is the key to success, right? All right. Thanks, guys. Have a good night, and we'll see you in the next one.